Yo dudes, welcome to today's video. Um, bit of an awkward one today because really what I'm doing is just getting ready for carpet in. So there's a couple of little things, bits and pieces um, that I need to do. Um, that by the end of it won't really seem like I've done anything, but I actually will have. And then I'll the video next will just be carpeting uh, the van. So I've done a couple of things off camera as well, just to sort of save time in this video. So I've redone the flooring. I only put the hook blade through my hand once, so bonus, but there's a bit of blood all over the van, so excuse that, I'll get it cleaned up before I do the carpeting. But I'll show you what I've done, and then we'll move on to, to the other bits and pieces that we're doing today. So, as I said, we've gone back and done the floor, and I've literally got it almost perfect to like the standard I was looking for. I'm not, it's not stuck down quite yet, and I'm not gonna stick it down until I've done the carpeting. You see the edge all the way around. This basically as it should be, or as I wanted it to be. Uh, excuse the blood there. Wear gloves if you're going to do that, by the way, because um, you'll just end up smashing your knuckles to pieces. Um, so just around the step and around this back needs a bit of tidying up, but I want to get everything else back in place before I sort that out. The only slight error I made, and literally this is in the whole floor, is this bit here, where I've just chopped it slightly too much off, but I've got a way to, or I've got an idea of how I can how I can fix that. So, other things I've done is I've covered, I had a bit of insulation left over from the floor. I don't know whether it's ideal for the walls or the floor, but it's insulation, it's sound deadening as well, so I figured why not just use the bits that I had left over on the window inserts. And then, because I want the floor to be super clean at the back where it attaches on to the bit of the to the bit of the panel that's going to go back in there, when I laid the floor, I laid it as far back as I could, which left a slight gap here. Um, luckily, the buttons that I cut out were the perfect size to fit in there. So I've cut a couple of them up to fit, and then I put them and stuck them in as well. I just used super glue for that. Uh, also, and I, I don't know how good these are, they were a nightmare to cut, maybe I was using the wrong size, um, the wrong thickness of card, I was just using whatever I had to be honest, but I've cut out some templates for the window bits, I need to put them up against it properly and, and just make sure I'm happy before I start cutting the wood, hopefully we'll do that in this video um, as well and get them sorted. So that when we come to the next video, it's literally just carpeting and that's it. But first thing I'm going to do is remove all the interior panels. Okay, so that's all the interior panels removed out the back roof as well. Uh, I've done the doorway as well. Um, find the best way basically is just to have a little hook, hook it in, and then wedge it out with a tire lever. It's a mountain bike tire lever, by the way. Um, so yeah, literally like a 10 minute job, nice and easy. So next thing to do is to get the stencils cut out of wood. Um, Hopefully that'll be nice and straightforward as well. I still haven't figured out how to how I want to attach them on there yet. Um, whether to use these clips similar to, to how these ones were held on with. Um, or alternatively just to glue them down. My thinking is is because everything's gonna be black, if it's a bit too much, then I can maybe use those panels as like a contrast cover colour. But if they're 
stuck down permanently that would make it a lot harder than having the ability to remove them as and when um, should I want to do that they don't need access behind them so they can be put down permanently it's just am I going to be a fanny or not that's that's all I've got to decide on um, so anyway next step getting these cut out and so we've got something to work with but this is where we're up to so as I showed previously I've cut out the cardboard blanks to go into the side panels here now what I was trying to do was figure out a way to attach the plywood to there without either making it a permanent solution or having to drill through the van like worst case scenario is I use tiger seal and that's sort of sort of what I'm thinking at the moment but I just want to do a little experiment first of all so this is what I'm doing I've cut out the two stencils for the both of the back bits and I don't know sort of where they're gonna sit so what I'm doing is I'm using I think it's three mil ply excuse the roughness of the corners I need to tidy it up but I'm using three mil ply on this one so I've got those stuck around there and then on this one I'm using the 12 mil ply I had just all stuck in the same areas and so and so currently what I'm waiting for is um, for the wood glue that I've put on to dry now I know that may not be a permanent solution if I decide to go down that route so again I'll, I'll come back to it as and when but like I said this is just an experiment now the other thing I've got and this is purely because I'm going to try something and if I don't like it I'm going to change it and also I get bored quite easily and quite fast so in the future should I want to change it rather than having the, the total walls be the carpet colour then I can add accents or change the colour of the accents or whatever it just gives me way more flexibility to, to try to do it this way first of all it doesn't work it doesn't work um, but I figured I might as well go for it because I'm doing it anyway so like I said we've got the stencils there ready and we've got the little bits put on for spacing so I don't know whether it'll look better being out a bit further or being closer so that's why I'm using the two different length um, are they buttons? I don't know, buttons, whatever. Stuck on pieces of wood bits. Um, and what I'm actually going to try to use is Velcro. So, this Velcro apparently holds up to 7 kilograms per, there's a little, it tells you the size of the piece, like the piece isn't very big and it holds up to 7 kilograms and it's meant to be quite good. So. I'm going to try to use Velcro, I may get shit for it, it may not work, I don't know yet. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to I'm just going to leave these to dry with the pieces of wood and I'll finish off the two blanks in the front. And then overnight tonight I'm going to leave it on the wall as an experiment. See firstly if they come off, secondly how they look with the different length button thingy jobbies. Pardon me, I just did a test fit and the bigger ones aren't going to work at all. Uh, the reason being that's better the reason being so the reason being as it comes nearer to the back it starts to curve in essentially and whilst it's fine at the front using one that big it'll be there um, as it gets nearer the back and this this gap here isn't as large it starts to make it a bit more a bit more pronounced the board so what we're doing is we're going for the the smaller ones these ones and we're just going to do exactly the same procedure as what we've done here so just a part mark the points stick it on add the velcro on top and that should be perfect um the velcro didn't have an issue in fact the velcro actually broke the seal of the wood after the wood glue had been on for a couple of hours so i think we're i think so I think the Velcro is going to be perfect. It's not normal Velcro. It's um, it is by Velcro, but it's industrial Velcro, and apparently it holds a weight of up to seven kilograms. So more than more than what these boards weigh. Um, so that's what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to save filming it, but and and that's going to be the end of the video. I'm going to go off and try to find some food because I haven't had a proper meal in three days, and the supermarkets have nothing in because of the the situation and the morons panic buying. Um, but join me for the next video when we get it carpeted and um, 
I'm aiming to have the full back completely finished by the next video. So, see you then. Have a good one. Stay safe. Hope you're good. See you later. Bye.